Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Wednesday, 23rd day of August, and the first day of Elul. Okay, it's the second day of Rosh Chodesh, but it's the first day of Elul. And we're going to start blowing the shofar on Wednesday morning. We're also going to start saying Ladavid Hashem Ori all the way until Shemini Atzeres now. So please be aware of that. If you don't know where that is, look in your sitter, ask for help for, from someone, because uh, we start saying that on the first day of Elul. Okay, back to our topic. We were saying yesterday that if a father and son are having an argument, the father wants the son to learn in the United States, let's say, and the son wants to learn in Israel, let's say, and he knows he's going to learn Torah better there, if that's really, really, really for sure, the son would have a right to demand, if, especially if he's paying for it, then he would have the right to demand that he be allowed to go to Israel because his learning will be better there. But here's where we continue today. Sometimes, uh, you know, teenagers today might just want to go to Israel because everyone's going to Israel. And it won't necessarily be to learn better, it's just he wants that experience of going to Israel. That doesn't necessarily push aside your parents' view. And so that too doesn't give you carte blanche to just win the argument over your parents if you're not really going to learn better because that's, let's say, not really what's happening and you just really want to go to Israel. And you better be discussing with a rabbi. Um, rabbi Scheinberg was famous for paskening, for deciding that a daughter can also uh, argue against her parents and say, I want to go to seminary if she's paying for that seminary experience, that she has the right to do that because it's a life-changing experience if, again, she's going to go to really learn and become a better person and not just to get away to Israel like all the, her friends are doing. That's not really a powerful enough argument. Um... <laughs> So son, a son can choose, this is the next halacha here, a son can choose a spouse even if his parents are against that choice of spouse. The Sefer Hasidim says it's not just somebody of today, of the you know, of our century, but it's been, it's been written in our halacha works for a long time that a son is allowed to choose his own spouse even against the desire of his parents. Most post rule that it's the same thing for a girl that she may choose a 